myself played some guitar as you well know see me every day pretty much you know playing some guitar that's a little fun little Chicago kind of style thing you know I kind of got that idea from backing up harmonica players playing two different parts you know behind like a, a Sonny Boy Williamson type uh, double guitar part you know one guitar is playing that and then you got that in between so basically, I've talked about this before, but I kind of, you know, tried to approximate two different, you know, guitar parts. And I just love that kind of stuff, you know, and I try and, you know, to try and get that feel to just kind of swing right and feel right and feel relaxed because it's kind of a busy part, but you still want to play it relaxed, you know. So I just done that. I just play some different examples of some lead guitar, some, you know, B.B. King, Otis Rush kind of influence stuff. But, you know, my way, the way I kind of picked up, you know, the things I picked up from the different players, you know. 
And one of the big things that I picked up from those players like BB King or Otis Rush or somebody like that, you know, was the feel, the feel of it, you know, to really try and get into, you know, how they made things swing, how they, the inflections, the tone, you know, and most of the time, you know, like the tone that I'm trying to get in the bigger tone just from the guitar, if I play any guitar or or any amp or whatever, I'm trying to get the biggest tone possible. So a lot of times I use something sort of like a Fender Heavy or whatever, you know, a tortoiseshell, celluloid, <laughs> heavy pick of some brand, you know. And I use the rounded edge, the old trick I got from Robin Ford. I use the rounded edge. I use this edge, you know, and I play with a kind of a soft uh, picking attack, you know, like I'll give you an example. And I really tried a bunch of different guitar picks, and for me, this... Uh, this pick really gets that big, fat sound, you know. In my approach, the way I play is a really soft kind of pick attack. You know, I use a really soft thing. You know, even if I'll get the um, aggression another way, you know, like maybe I'll get the you know, really louder or more punchy just by playing all down strokes like. You know, maybe just a little bit harder, but try to just keep it, you know, pretty soft. Because the harder you play, the more it shuts down the sound and you want to kind of try and get more of a sustain and a, a note blooming. You know, and I think of one way to really get the note to bloom and to blossom and to be bigger is to play less. It's like control, you know, you got to control the note and make it do what you want it to do. You know, the guitar can't tell you how to play. You got to tell the guitar how you want to play it, you know. <laughs> You know, a lot of guys, you know, like friends of mine and different people like the guitar to kind of fight back, you know, fight back. And that's a really beautiful sound, too, you know, but more my way is more to not have the guitar fight back at all. And I'm the one who makes it sound different or makes it sound like I'm being more raw. And I just kind of create that, you know, through my playing, you know, like. However, I attack it, you know, I just get that all from my personal touch, you know, the way I play the instrument, but I want the guitar to be able to do anything, you know, that I want it to do on command, you know, so for me, that's more of a, uh, you know, I always refret my guitars, my old vintage guitars or whatever, I always refret them and do whatever it takes to get it more in tune and refret and everything, whatever it takes to make the guitar um, perform at its highest ability, you know, that's what I like, you know. And I feel that, you know, like when I would see old footage of BB King and people like that, you know, for some reason I never thought that his guitar was that difficult to play and he used probably lighter strings, you know, because he's like, he can do it all in his heart and his soul, you know, he can get all the different textures under the rainbow, by just the simple, the way he touched the instrument, you know. So that's sort of more my philosophy. So, you know, I've been playing this uh, PRS guitar a lot for the last couple of weeks, just so I could kind of just play one guitar and kind of get a thing going a little bit with one guitar. And it's been a lot of fun, you know, just kind of playing one guitar for a couple of weeks and everything, you know. And yes, I have another little bit of news in the old Kirk Fletcher uh, news band. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I have a new single that's coming out on Tuesday, next week, next Tuesday. I have a new single coming out and a record coming out in a couple months. And uh, yeah, 
I cannot wait to share it with you. You have to wait till Tuesday. And I'm really excited about it. I co-wrote this song with a friend of mine. Everybody might know, you know, Robert Cray's bass player, Richard Cousins, longtime bass player, songwriter, Richard Cousins. And he's fantastic. And we brewed up a really cool song. And I'm excited about it. And you will get to hear its debut on this Tuesday. Is that fun or what? I think you'll really like it. I put a lot of heart and soul into it and had a lot of fun. All right. Talk to you soon. This was actually recorded uh, before all the um, world went upside down. You know, we recorded it uh, over the Christmas holidays, my new record over the Christmas holidays 2019. So, you know, it's finally all coming into fruition and I am really excited about it. And everybody, tell everybody, tell a friend, <laughs> tell an enemy. <laughs> Kirk Fletcher's new single is coming out on Tuesday. All right. Can't wait. See you soon. Take care.